You have wasted my time. Granted, they allowed me to stay for the reception. That was sweet, but I need my money. I can't take a reception dinner to go pay my, my electricity bill. <laughs> can't do it, you know? It's not possible. What up, it's your girl, Mena. I'm just fixing my wig, but we gonna start this video. I just love these random starts. In this video, we're doing a Q&A, get ready with me, talking, chatting, situationship. I'm going to judge up this wig. It does need to be washed. It's got a soft curl to it. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Same name, Mena underscore Adubia. Yeah, and also make sure you have joined my text community. Hey, I discovered this from Nay Penda on IG Stories. Pro new. She used it. She liked it. I trust her. I think it's gonna do me well. So we're not doing the headband wig today. We're doing the full curly situation. Ooh, this is cute. Always at the front. Ew, hi. Necklace is she and the shirt is older from Fashion Nova. Okay. Came in the three pack from Amazon. Ooh, this smells so good. It smells like... Fruit punch? Ooh, tropical. It has coconut oil in it. I'm looking for uh, the name of the fragrance. It smells so good, like fruit punch. No, I just put water in this and go, but come on. I mean, this is four curls, you know, to renew curls. So why not use a product that is actually for this? Mm -hmm. Hello. So when she posted, I said, who's one? And she went and grabbed a headband away from Amazon per recommendation from your kid, you know what I'm saying? And it's got coconut oil in it, which I like. So obviously just water, it'd be all dry, but this looks all right. I mean, I would need so much to saturate all the hair. Maybe I should have sprayed. Now it's getting on my shirt. I can't stand that. But look how flat it is. I liked the poof, the dry curls. Maybe I should have left it. What do you think? <laughs> I'm sure it'll poof up a little bit, but my eye like this looks so flat. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I should have sprayed this on a wig head. I like this product. What I'll do next time is spray it and let it dry and then put it on. I liked the volume that the dry soft curls were giving me. Anyway, I asked y'all, I did a Q&A on IG a while ago. I know that this is a little outdated, but the questions, you know, never expire. You obviously still want to know the answers to these questions, right? So we're going to talk about that today. And then I'm going to add in some other info questions that I've just gotten over the times, things I know you want to know about. And we're going to talk about all of it. Ooh, this wig, I don't know. This wig is the same wig that I've had. You feel what I'm saying? But something about it is just looking different today. It's just hitting me a little bit different today. And I like, I like what it's doing today. I could take some edge control, bring all this down, but I actually really miss the volume that I was just having, whatever. I got my damp sponge situation already going. Beauty sponge is linked below. Make sure you soak your sponge through and through before you use it. All right, I'm applying MAC Prep and Prime Lip as my lip primer and let's start. I can't pronounce the names. Une sac, oh, sub, see, that's a problem. That's a problem. All right, someone says, just love you. I appreciate it. Listen, I don't take it for granted when someone is like, love your page, been here for a while, seen how you've grown, love to see it, all the things. I don't take it for granted because here's the thing, you don't have to be here. You don't have to watch my stuff. Like why, you see? Listen, I know Farsali is out of, like they closed down. I'm not sure if they actually have already stopped being sold on Sephora. I already bought mine, so I need to use it. <laughs> so. You know, that's a tough thing about getting stuff that gets discontinued or whatever. Like you still have it and it's still a fresh bottle. So does that mean now that I should stop? Absolutely not. I use my money to buy this stuff. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Can you make more videos like Get Ready With Me on YouTube? I love watching you. Well, here you go. And I do like watching Get Ready With Me's. I actually enjoy watching the full Get Ready With Me's with hair. I, I could have showed you how I put this on, but it's just a wig. I just put it on and it already like this. I like when they do outfit and, and fragrance. That's always really nice. Have you ever thought about owning your own beauty spa? Mm, no, I have not. I have not thought about that. Beauty spa. It makes me think of laser, Botox, facials, etc. No, I have not thought about that. That doesn't interest me at all. I'm using an Old Faithful foundation. This is CoverGirl Superstay Full Coverage in the color Deep Bronze, which is my summer color. No, it's not something that I've thought about. I don't, oh, I should clip my hair, hold on. All right, I don't have any interest in having a spa. Now, you never know, 
my mind could change, right? Women's minds change, people's minds change. So I suppose things could change in the future, but right now, no, I don't wanna do that. I used to be a freelance makeup artist when I was working full time and I enjoyed it for that time being, but it got old on me. And then I became a mom and I couldn't fathom the idea of having strangers in my home. You know, many freelance makeup artists have their studio in home. Like right now, I'm a content creator and my studio is in my house. So when I would have people over that I did not know, they were coming to my house. And back then it's just, a, it's just different. It's like every year things get a little bit more shady and, and crazy. I wasn't in the position to get a studio. I wasn't making enough in order to get a studio. And it was just easier to do stuff from home. But then I discovered Instagram and YouTube. And I was like, uh-uh, let me just change. I mean, let me do something else. So I'm a little easier, more flexible. I don't wanna have strangers in my home. It's very difficult to just trust random people. You never know if someone is scouting you out. So let's say a woman woman comes, now, this didn't happen, I'm just saying. A woman might come to your house, get her makeup done, but while she's there, she's looking around like, oh, okay, so this is the layout, this is what's going on, this is what's good. Next thing you know, a month later, or weeks later, you get robbed and you're wondering how they knew where everything was. Well, you had Shorty in your house a month ago, get her makeup done, you see? So I gotta be careful, so I stopped. But yeah, as far as the business is concerned, when, with a beauty spa, not on my radar, not on my interest list, but you never ever know. See how this doesn't match my hairline color? That's fine, it's all gonna come together when I finish the face. However, when you get to the hairline, wipe off the brush and then you're blotting just to blend a little, but we are gonna contour. We're not expecting this to match the hairline because hello, your face is not all one color. But look at this finish though. Maybelline, look at this finish though. Yeah. Puerto Rico was great. Where we going? Where we going to our next vacation hour? I love it. <laughs> Yo, where we going? Remember back in the day, people used to have, I should use a different concealer. I've been using the same stuff too much. Let me use my Elf Cosmetics Deep Chestnut. Yeah, let's use that. It's gonna dry fast. So I'm gonna prepare my makeup sponge, getting off the excess water by squeezing it because my nails are too long. And then it is damp and ready to go. Listen, Puerto Rico was real fun, despite the chaos. If you saw the vlog, you saw what was going on. If not, you should go watch it. It's pretty entertaining, <laughs> okay? And when I mentioned that this is this dries fast, you should watch my primers video to explain different primers and how to make them work and, you know, when they dry fast, what have you. But yeah, it was a blast. Listen, remember the days when people used to have meetups? What were they called? Meet and greet. <laughs> Sounds like a, a fancy dinner. Meet and greets. Those were really fun. I never went to a meet and greet, but they always looked so fun. And I always thought to myself like, dang, if I ever made it to a certain point that people actually cared to come and see me, I would love to do that. Even at Essence, when we went two years ago, they would have different influencers at booths and you can stand in line to obviously make a purchase, see what's going on over there at Essence. Estee Lauder or whatever, and then you might meet an influencer. For instance, I met Shayla at Essence. So that is always a way to meet people, if not something planned on your own. I always thought that would be so fun to do, but clearly, clearly now with, with the pandemic, uh-uh, baby, I don't know about it, you know? <laughs> I don't know about it. So things have just really changed, but it's so funny. When's our next vacation? I say that because wouldn't it be so fun and funny to be like, okay, like I saw that actually. Do you follow Melody Holt? I was looking at her page and I saw that she's going to be in some Caribbean island. Oh, was it? No, it was in Mexico. She's going to be in Mexico and you can pay, I don't know how much it costs, but you can buy the package and plan to be in the same resort as her. And I don't know, maybe they're going to have curated events. Who knows? I'm sure I can imagine. And I'm like, that's dope. That's cool. So when you with your comment, it just made me think of something like that, but I don't have any plans for that. I don't know, but that would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> Will you ever teach or offer influencer training marketing courses? Wow. You know, it is something that I've thought about, but it's not something that I have a passion for. It could be an easy cash grab, but I'm not, I don't have the bandwidth to do easy cash grabs. I'm busy. And then when I'm not busy, I need to focus on like resting and having time for my family. So I'm not in a position to try to get all the money I can in every area that I can because there's a lot of money in coaching for sure. A lot of people want to know how to do this. It's crazy. It's like to me, I would think, yo, there are hundreds of videos, if not thousands of videos online from people teaching you, like people who have IG accounts that can teach you how to do this stuff. Like, why do you want to learn from me? Right. And somebody might say, well, if you have people who are interested, why not just do it? You know, and I get all that, but I'm too busy working on things that I actually I'm passionate about. I'm not trying to 
just add things on just because I know I can make a lot of money. With that said, if you watch my vlogs, I do share things that I'm doing to give you an inside scoop as to what's going on. If I purchase a new tech item, if I'm setting something up, whatever it is, I make sure that I, like for instance, this week's vlog, I was like, oh, it's been a while since I showed y'all editing. So I showed you how I edit the IG stories that I do for my vlogs, because that's the kind of stuff that is cool to know if you're a content creator or if you're just curious, you could have no interest in any anyone's world of doing what I do, but you just want to know how we do it all. You might find my vlogs interesting for that reason. So I do share stuff there because there's no harm in sharing. Ain't nobody going to be like me. There's no other Minadibia. There's only one, you see. So yeah, I don't have any plans to teach. As a solopreneur working on my own for myself, I don't have the bandwidth. If I had a team, it'd be a different story but I don't, and that's not something that I want to do right now. Never know, things might change, but never know. How tall are you? I'm 5'4". Can you imagine? Isn't that interesting? Because I know that sometimes you meet someone in person, you're like, whoa, you're taller than I thought you were. Whoa, you're shorter than I thought you were. I'm 5'4". I think I'm 5'4 and a half, honey, but it's 5'4 last I checked. Elf Cosmetics Putty Bronzer. I did a video on this. You, It's already up, so you should take a look at it. This is the color Sunkissed, although I need to get the color that that is after this for a little bit of depth. But this is gonna be good though. So glad I found your page. I'm so glad. I wanna know how y'all be finding me. Can you comment and let me know? You be finding me on the score page or what? How did you find me? Everyone who's watching, comment and let me know how you found me. Did somebody tag you? Was I on the explore page? Was it an ad? I just wanna know. Why did you stop being a makeup artist? I know in another video I've explained this. I can't recall which video it is. So aside from the safety concern, I also was sick and tired having to explain my rate. People like to negotiate the rate, which I feel like has, I hope has changed. I won't know because I don't do makeup anymore. But it's like when you holla at a photographer or a an event planner for your baby shower, are we still haggling them to lower their prices or are we not asking their prices or going on their site, seeing their prices and saying, okay, bet, I got you. Or thank you for your time. I can't afford you at this time. I value your time. If I can, I'll contact you again. Otherwise, thank you for your time. Are we not doing that? No, I can't lie. I've asked for discounts in the past. So I understood at that time, it just started to get old. It was just annoying for people to be like, dang, that's how much you charge for something I'm gonna wash off. I don't care what you're gonna do with it. This is the thing. If you don't want to pay, that's why you need to learn how to do your own makeup. Are you kidding me right now? 12 years ago when I started doing my own makeup, I'm glad I did. But you know what? If you have that kind of personality and you learn and you catch on things quickly, start practicing. I'm here doing what I love, but I also want to teach y'all. I don't do the in-person classes, obviously, but I like to teach as much as I can on this channel in addition to entertaining you. So I want you to learn from what I'm doing. I do get that for some people, they need it to be hands-on. I understand that and I do the best I can virtually, right? But it was just annoying and then not only that yo going to people's houses is too much like being in someone's house you don't know what to expect you don't know what's going on let's see they have an animal i'm allergic to animals now here i am standing and doing your face for an hour hour and a half and i'm sne sneezing and coughing it's too much or i remember i did someone's makeup bless her soul it was in a hotel and I, all of a sudden i'm like what is that in the bed girl she got a man in the bed i don't know if it's her husband her boyfriend's in my business but i'm thinking this is so strange this man is laying down in the bed while i'm doing your makeup and it's just so odd it's it's just odd. It got it got very odd for me. I didn't like it. And then you got to travel, take your whole kit to someone's house an hour away, 35 minutes away. Like who has time for all of that? I just got turned off and annoyed and just not interested after a while. So I freelanced for a few years on my own and then at Mac and then on my own and then I was done. And it was just enough was enough. Like, yes, you take your kit to someone's house 30 minutes away, 45 minutes away. Girl, I remember I did a wedding, my first wedding. I was so excited about it. The bride was late. Everything was laid my juice is gonna gonna for they just think they're entitled to just teach you how anyhow like what my time is valuable what's the saying nah man and i was like oh never again i i had a contract after that i made sure i had things instead because i was like i'm not doing this again i'm not gonna drive an hour to come to you you're late you expect me to sit around here and wait for you and then you got an issue because i gotta charge you extra for my time you have wasted my time granted they allowed me to stay for the reception that was sweet but i need my money 
I can't take a reception dinner to go pay my, my electricity bill. <laughs> can't do it, you know? It's not possible. I don't, like, I just, it's Laura Mercier, honey, trims with some powder. I just can't, you know? It's just like stuff like that. Yeah, it'll be a amount of times that I'll be doing someone's makeup for a wedding and then the bridesmaid or maid of honor or just someone in the hotel room wants to stand over me and see everything that I'm doing. Basically, they want to get a free makeup class. Basically, they want to be taught how to do makeup by watching me and then asking me mad questions. No. Tell your bridal party, tell your mom, tell your grandma, tell everyone in that room. When I'm working, don't talk to me. It's very distracting. And when you do brides, it's very intense. And, and if they're late, then here you are rushing. You want to do a good job. If, if people are coming in, talking to them, they're thinking about the day, they start crying and they start messing up the makeup you're doing. And here you are trying to salvage what you're doing. It's just a lot, you know? And depending on the room you're in, it's not just you and her. No, 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 no. It's you and her and everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's just there's so much going on. Then you got the photo photographer. Listen, there are people who enjoy that and I think it's fantastic. I It ran its course with me and I was, it enough was enough. My tolerance for all of that foolishness was done. I remember I went to this one sweet young girl's house. They're African and I know our food is very aromatic. It's, it's you know, we cook it with garlic and onion and all that. And I don't know if, you know, some people don't air out their house, like do what you want to do. But in my house, I think I've told you this in my vlogs at least, my nose is very sensitive. I got candles and plugins everywhere. I, and I like to make sure that I I smell good at all times. Like I just need a nice aroma around me and in my space and in my house. But anyway, I went to this, this young girl's house to do her makeup for prom, bless her heart, her house smelled like food. And I'm just like, see, this is what I can't stand. So when I left, I smelled like the food and so did my stuff. That's the kind of stuff that I cannot tolerate. And they wanted me to come to them. People love when you come to them. Obviously it's a lot more convenient. I get it. And I used to do that. And after a while I stopped. I remember one time I had, I had taken a client in Clear Lake. <laughs> I was new to Houston and I'm like what is clear like that place was far like what uh-uh and I already told you coming to my house ain't gonna work out it's too dangerous it's too much like <laughs> it's just a lot you know I remember I did anyway I could I have stories for days again that's gonna have to be another story time comment below and let me know if you want a video from when I used to be a makeup artist <laughs> books you read that changed your life other than the bible you know what right now I'm reading the miracle morning it is fantastic it is challenging me to think about what I want in life, what I want to get out of my life, what kind of person I want to be, and making sure that I don't live a mediocre life. Can you imagine that? I am I used to just skate on through, girl. Every day, get up, go, sit down, come home, do this, do that, do that. And one day, yeah, and then you realize you're living a mediocre life. You get old, you have regrets, things you never never got to do. Your health is failing, you, you're poor, or you're living check to check or whatever it is on state health and all this stuff. I just don't want that. If I have the ability and the wherewithal to do more, to secure myself more, to be happier, then why? not and that book is really challenging me to do that so with my getting up in the mornings I used to be good with it but it was intermittent whereas now I mean I've been reading the book for three days now and it has really changed the way that I look at things I love how in the book it talks about the little things you do affect the big things so you might think like you might think for instance oh if I snooze today don't worry I'll do it tomorrow if I eat bad today oh don't worry I'll, I'll fix it tomorrow and then the, the author is saying that those small things you may think is small but they actually do affect you in the long run and I'm reading the book and I'm totally convicted I'm just like Oh, you write about that, you know, because then I'll be snoozing every day. I remember the last time I just got up right when the alarm went off. I would just, I was just a snoozer. Whereas now, the past two days, it's been two days, but it's still two days, baby. I'm like, uh-uh, when the alarm goes off, I need to get up. This is ridiculous. Who am I and who do I want to be? What am I doing in the morning to set myself up for success? And that does snowball in a good way based on the kind of life that I want to live. It's important. Fenty Beauty Thick Mint Instant Warmth Bronzer Sunstroke. Sun Too many words, okay? This is thick mint, okay, baby? I want to make this little Zaka. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at that, yes. That book, I mean, I could talk about it for days, but you really gotta read it. It's a very easy read. I'm tempted to do Audible, but I like, I wanna read, cause I'm on my devices a lot, computer, phone, to do my job and I want to break free from that and not be so stuck on technology. So that's why I get the physical books. Not to mention, I love to write and underline in my books. Excuse me, I'm listening, I can't do that. I'll hear something and that book is full of great gems. And I'm not gonna be sitting here listening and writing things down. I don't write fast. When I write fast, it, it's sloppy. So having the book is great because I can underline and write and do all this and then go look back. I'm not writing anything down. I'm not doing that. <laughs> so I do physical books and that book is changing my life. I knew it was good 
good, but I didn't know it was that good. If you want to live a better life, you want to challenge yourself, you don't want to be mediocre, you don't want to be part of the 95% of people who get old and, and feel like they wasted their life, you need to read that book. The Miracle Morning, honey. Oh yeah. There's a lot of chit chatting going on in this video. Y'all better be watching and give the video a thumbs up. Ow. Okay, when I first read this, I was like, do you believe in Lao? Laos? No. L-O-A, Law of Attraction. I don't know what that really means. I haven't studied it. I haven't Googled it. I can infer from the title or the phrase what it means. I think that it means that if you think about something, it'll happen or what? You manifest stuff that you think? Is that what it is? In a way, it sounds a little bit, uh, <laughs> Demonic? Like, I don't understand. Is he like law of attraction? Like, are we taking God out of it? Because I do clearly believe in prayer and writing things down and just declaring and saying that, for instance, you know, I'm going to live a great life. My family will be financially stable. We are going to blah, 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 blah. So in that sense, are you referring to attracting it that way or like taking God out of it and being like, whatever because i don't mm -mm, i don't do all that mm -mm, baby the lord jesus is my savior <laughs> okay we gotta add him into it amen all right did you braid your hair yourself i did not are you referring to this was this was a while ago what braids what braids my single braids when did i have them i had them a while ago i'm using rare beauty luminizer and the color flaunt it's the same all same all okay the back of the sponge bum, bum, bum. Wah, wah, wah. no i do my own hair all of the time I do want to go get a silk press. I was supposed to do it before the summertime came, but now the summer's here and it ain't gonna make no sense. But it is on my to-do list for the fall. I wanna see my hair all straight. You know, I have blow dried it for different styles, but it's just the front. I did blow dry all of my hair to get it braided and it was long, I loved it, but it wasn't straight. It was still, it was still you know, kinky. What did you do prior to becoming an influencer <laughs> and how long have you been married? Okay, so I'm an educator. I was a college counselor assisting high school students. Well, let's go way back. This is the elf blue blush, always spicy. I studied general business administration from the University of Rhode Island. I'm from, was born in Rhode Island, lived there before I moved to Houston 11 years ago. Okay. And I studied general business administration. Then for graduate school, I studied higher education. I wanted to be an admin at a college or a university. I wanted to work specifically in admission. So I went to study my degree. It was a two year degree. And when I graduated, I applied for jobs all over the Northeast. I wanted to stay home, but then I was like, you know what? None of us have left. Let me try to leave and go to the Mid-Atlantic, meaning Washington, DC, Maryland, Virginia area. Well, that didn't work out. I got a job at, was it University of Maryland, Loyola? Loyola Marymount? No, University, one of those, right? But the amount of money they were gonna pay me was the same amount of money that I was gonna get paid if I had come to Houston to work. And obviously the cost of living is a lot cheaper here. So I was like, I guess I'm going to Texas, you see? And I applied to Texas only because I have family in Dallas. Otherwise, I would have never thought about Texas. I applied in Dallas and in Houston. And I, oh, I also got a job at a school in New Jersey, but the money was not enough. Like what? So I was like, no, I'm going to Texas. So here I am. So when I was here, I worked in admission. I also worked as a college counselor, helping students apply to college. And all the while I was a freelance makeup artist. Uh, I was doing my own makeup makeup because I broke out with rosacea when I was in graduate school and the medicine that I was given discolored my skin terribly. So I needed makeup to even things out and the rest is history. So here we are now and I love makeup clearly. It was obviously destined by God. So here we are and I love it. So my background is in education, but I always like to clarify because whenever I say that people think of teachers, which who the teachers obviously do a tremendous job. We need them, but I was not a teacher. I was an admin in universities and in high schools. Oh, and how long have I been married? So I've been married for eight years now, which is so wild to say. It is wild. Eight years has flown by in the freakiest way. And interestingly, every now and then I feel tempted or I just get the urge to share my husband, share my family online. But here's the thing. He is not an internet person, okay? I am. And he's not interested in that, number one. Usually the husbands aren't. You know what I'm saying? It's usually us. We have the 
big personalities, although I'm an introvert, but that's a whole different story. So we have the personalities and all that. They ain't trying to do all of this stuff. Like, it's just too much. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to have your family, your relationship online. It's not something that entices me at all. It used to, but it, to me, it's actually a pretty dangerous thing to do because marriage is very sacred and I just don't have the time for the foolishness. You see what I'm saying? So there's that. Oh my God, this brow is coming out so strange. I'm going to fix it though. What? The tail end is looking real crazy. Crazy. How do you do it all? Girl, I don't know. Every day I'm just doing the best that I can. I keep a calendar. I have a type A personality. I thrive with organization. I do not like dysfunction. I do not like disorganization. Although after becoming a mom, I had to learn how to be more flexible and deal with mess and stuff. But I do not like it. <laughs> I am a very organized, strategic, goal-oriented person. That's what makes me happy. That's what helps me to function. And that's how I make it work. Nigerian Jalof or Ghanaian Jalof? Okay, first of all, is Ghanaian Jalof. And I don't want to get into this. Don't be coming and spamming me. Eat what you want to eat. You want to eat pig? You want to eat turkey? You want to eat snail? Eat what you want to eat. But for me, <laughs> and mind you, my best friend is Nigerian, so don't even do it. Don't even do it, okay? It's Ghanaian Jalof for me, okay? <laughs> I'm not even gonna say anymore because I don't want to argue. I ain't doing it. How did you how did you balance doing content, family, and working in the office? Love you. Listen, it's been a struggle. You see what I'm saying? It's been a struggle because it's a lot. I would be really, really tired all of the time. And thankfully, right now, I'm not as tired as I used to be all of the time. Although I do find myself being tired, obvi. But working from home for myself have, has been such a blessing. I can't even explain it. It's been really difficult. I would work on my breaks. I would work, I would work on my downtime. I would work obviously after work. I would do some work beforehand. The nice thing is that I liked to dress up every single day. It was just my way to challenge myself to just be better and I would feel better when I was dressed up. So what I would do is film in the morning while I was getting ready for work. I would film my makeup. Now, when I look back, I hate the lighting on those videos because natural lighting in addition to my LED lights is just the best formula for me. But obviously at five or six in the morning, I don't have that. Actually it was five in the morning. I, I had just my lights. So my lighting was just a little bit. But yeah, so the nice thing was I would have five different looks a week if I filmed every day. Now I filmed usually three times a week. So I would have a lot of looks. So I had a lot of IGTV videos while I was working because I was always doing makeup. And it was so interesting because I would be going to work with like full glam, you see what I'm saying? And I don't care, I didn't care. I was doing me, you feel what I'm saying? I was doing me and it looked good. <laughs> it was like, dang, miss, where you going, right? And it's like, oh, I'm coming to work, where you going? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm doing me, you do you, and let's all just sit down, everybody have a seat. So that was the nice thing. And then I would dress up just to make myself feel good and it was just a nice motivation there. But it was very difficult, leaving home at the crack of dawn, coming home like five o'clock, 5.30, and then all of this, it was just very hard, but I had no choice. Many of you have no choice and that's just what it is. I did love my job while it, while it lasted. I just, it was just a challenge. And I loved doing this a lot more, obviously. It's a passion of mine, but I knew that where I was, God had sent me there. Just, I mean, there's so many reasons. So, 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 so many reasons I'm working with students. And I, I just, it was just, it was just fantastic. So uh, how did I balance it all? It was a daily, daily striving. I'm sure it looked great but it did not come like it looked meaning looked online like oh man she's really killing it but it did not come without frustration it did not come without sacrifice it did not come without stress i want to do what you do there how do you know what product suits your skin or not that's a loaded question how do i know what product suits my skin well i wonder if you're referring to skincare or makeup because with skincare it's very personal i always tell people start off with your dermatologist it's cute Cute to follow what we're doing but if you can get a prescription which is obviously going to be a lot stronger let's say you have acne or dark spots if you can get a prescription to get you where you want to go faster why 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 buy all this stuff now let's say that's not your concern and you want to try the things that we're putting out please do but start slowly introduce one thing at a time per week so that you can identify if anything is causing irritation but skincare is very personal so you might not be 
able to or interested in using every single thing that I use because my skin is not your skin. But just know that after age 25, your collagen production slows down. You're going to start to see a little bit of sagging, a little bit of wrinkling, dependent on genetics. Look at your mama. See how her face looking? See how her skin looking? And that's going to give you an indication as to how your face is going to look. But as far as makeup is concerned, that's a little trial and error, especially with the color. But then with, you know, applying it and everything, I'm just taking the excess to blend out this right here so that there's no there's no harsh lines. How did you get over self-doubt? My God, today. I mean, you know what? Mm, self-doubt. You know, it does creep up sometimes. But for instance, when it comes to dressing and outfits and my weight, I talked about this in one of my vlogs, my body, my weight has always been a problem for me. There's a reason for that. You can watch the vlog to see. In the title, it says insecurities. So self-doubt, I'm sure goat ties in with that. Two years ago, I made a decision. Listen, I got to live my life with the body I have right now. Life is far too short for me to be sitting here feeling like, oh, I can't dress like this, wear this, go here, do this, because I need to wait until, 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 until when? Now is the time. I'm sure it was the Lord speaking to my spirit. I just needed to make a change and make a change now. The excuses, the mediocrity, again, the book, The Miracle Morning, The Mediocrity, it was enough. It was enough. I had just had enough of feeling like I was living in bondage. I was, I was living in bondage to a lot of things and people, you have to break free from that. You really have to want it and break free from all of it. So with the self-doubt, whenever I feel it, I'm just like, I have to correct myself. I have to just correct myself, turn it around and encourage myself. It's not up to anybody to encourage me. It's not up to anyone online to make me feel good. In fact, that's, that's, that's toxic. In fact, that's like hor horrific to me. It's nice, I enjoy it, I appreciate it, but is that what makes me go? Absolutely not. I have to big up myself, you know? I have to encourage my, we talked about this in the vlogs too. Girl, watch the vlogs, okay? It's a whole self-love, self-elevation, encouragement type situation. This is just what I'm about. I have to encourage myself. Where does it come from? The Lord Jesus. All right, so we finished the video and the look on the outer part, if you hear noise, that's me, me yelling, playing rough with daddy. On the outer part, I'm wearing the Lip Bar Savage and on the inside, I'm wearing the Kike Cosmetics Sheila Liquid Lipstick. Comment below and let me know if you love this lip. Also, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.